And so you can ship it with the IoT Ready sticker. And why does that matter? I mean, it strengthens your brand. It has built-in marketing. But most importantly, it just shows that you are cutting edge. I can tell you that a lot of the meetings that we have with OEMs, the first question that we ask them is, "Are you tell us your IoT strategy. That's what we tell them. We don't expound on that at all. We literally ask the question and see how they respond to it. And based on the way that they respond, we understand whether or not they have an IoT strategy. Okay. <laughs> um, and then most importantly, number four, it gives you built-in analytics. I'm going to expand on this here in a second. Okay. So by shipping your equipment IoT ready, I'm an OEM. Uh, there are a lot of OEMs that, that sell turnkey pieces of equipment who they sell support agreements to the customers who buy that equipment from them. Okay. And what's the way that they respond to any issues in the field that the customer may, may have? The customer has an issue, they got to call the service desk, they got to get an engineer on the phone, the engineer's got to dial into a modem, remote into a PC that's on that machine, um, they got to go through all the trouble of that access, and then they have to try and dig in and try to solve the problem, right? That is a reactive methodology, right? I don't say a lot of great things about Rockwell Automation, and by the sheer fact that the sheer number of people who work for Rockwell Automation that visit our channel and watch our videos, I can tell that Rockwell Automation is definitely paying attention to the fact that we are not fans of their IIoT strategy. But one thing I can say and sing Rockwell's praises, everyone should pay very close attention, um, is they were ahead of the curve when it came to this type of machine monitoring for OEMs two years ago when they released uh, factory talk analytics for machines, which have now gone away and they're replacing it with ThingWorks, but the, the, the concept is still the same. Factory talk analytics for machines, and I'm gonna use Rockwell's example here as the benefit of shipping your equipment IIoT ready, even though it wasn't IIoT in, in the way that we define it, was that you know if I used an Allen Bradley PLC that had an add-on instruction inside of it, which was the, the FTAM AOI, the factory talk analytics for machines, I would just install that add-on instruction, uh, the, the, add -on, the AOP, which would give me add-on instructions and UDTs. Then I could use a little gateway, the ENA 9300, or yeah, I think it's a 9300. The ENA 9300 is a little network gateway that could plug into that PLC. And there was a little program that would run. It would connect to the PLC, look to see if that add-on instruction existed. And if it did, it would go up to the FTA, the Factory Talk Analytics cloud platform. The OEM, if I ship my piece of equipment, if I ship my piece of equipment with this hardware, as soon as this is connected to the internet, the OEM would then be able to go up into the cloud, log into their screens, and they would be able to look at all their equipment that is all over the world, and they'd be able to monitor it real time. They could receive alarms, and they could be proactive in solving problems for their customers. Now, what they couldn't do was through the Factory Talk Analytics cloud platform, they couldn't, they couldn't do the troubleshooting and diag they, still needed the, they still needed a separate connection to do those types of things. So when we talk about the, the benefit for OEMs, I'm gonna expand on the vision that Rockwell Automation had for Factory Talk Analytics for machines, which was really meant for OEMs. Go ahead and ship your equipment with these atom profiles inside your PLC code, with this ENA 9300 or the 9600, I can't remember the model, but the 9300, the ENA 9300, ship it this way, get a Factory Talk, uh, get, get a Factory Talk Cloud uh, subscription, and now you can monitor all your machines you have installed all over the world where you're supporting your customers. I want to take it one step further as a value proposition for the OEMs, okay? That, I want to take this concept and take it one step further. So what is the industry 3.0 way of OEMs supporting their equipment? So I've got machines all over the world, okay? So for whatever, let's, let's use this printing press concept as our example. I've got presses in the United States, in South America, and in Europe, okay? And I have one central service desk, you know, located in Italy. So right now, the current way that this is done is the customer in America has a problem and they make a phone call to, the, to Italy Italy, the technician, he's probably got a frown on his face. What he does is he remotes into the piece of machinery in the United States after responding to this phone call, and he tries to solve the problem, okay, reactively. Same thing with South America and Europe. So this is our 3.0 example. 
the, the IIoT methodology, again, would be our equipment is IIoT ready. We can go ahead and publish our equipment into the cloud, into our namespace. And then Italy can have a SCADA application that's consuming from all the equipment. So when I ship a new piece of equipment IIoT ready, it gets installed on the floor, it gets internet access, it starts publishing into the cloud, and now I can monitor all the equipment that I have sold all over the world and that I'm supporting from a central location. That is, that's probably the biggest advantage to shipping your equipment IIoT ready if you're an OEM. What about using that data collected to improve your product? Right, so then where does this data from, this, the, from SCADA go, right? It goes up into our cloud layer, Right? So it goes into our cloud radar where we're doing our machine learning and our artificial intelligence and our predictive analytics. Okay, so what you can end up doing is you can take information about the way that your machine runs, all your machines run all over the world. You can dump all of that information into a data lake up here in your IIoT hub, and then you can go ahead and write analytics uh, algorithms that will spit out relationships um, that you were not even aware of, causal relationships. You know, what's the impact that relative humidity in certain locations has on the printing quality that comes off my equipment? That, that information then goes back to our design group and works improvements into future iterations of that equipment. So it's all part of the continuous improvement process. That's all capable now, but it's, it's much more expensive. I mean, factory talk analytics for machines from Rockwell was very, very expensive. Incredibly expensive, actually. Um, this is very, very low cost. I mean, I can put, I could, I could be this OEM located in uh, Italy. I could buy a Chariot SCADA broker for two thousand dollars, ignition licensing for twenty thousand dollars, and I can connect every single piece of machinery that I have all over the globe just by pointing the machine to the broker. I don't have to do any, I don't have to do any plant side engineering at all. I get to ship it IoT ready, plug and play, have it show up in the namespace, and I'm collecting data. That's the value proposition for, for OEMs, right? So ship your equipment IoT ready.